hey what's up guys welcome back to my youtube channel and in this video we are going to see how we can access the camera for our flutter application and we will see for both the android and ios app and for the example we will um, again start with our whatsapp clone which we covered in earlier video so if you are not aware of that uh, let me just show you so this is my whatsapp clone repository the link will be available in the description and uh, you can also watch the whatsapp uh, clone tutorial video if you want to know about it although uh, the camera thing which i will cover which will be totally independent from this application so if you want you can use a fresh application to make uh, to you know use the camera or if you want then you can uh, just fork this repository or you can download this and you can uh, use the repository so uh, let's start with the, uh, our application and why i'm uh, using this whatsapp clone because we didn't implemented the camera uh, in this application so we'll try to implement it and then we will customize it in some other video so uh, this is our um, application let me just show you in the emulator so this is our application as you can see where we have some chats we have status which is blank as of now the calls is blank and the camera just shows a text view which is a camera okay so what we are going to do we are uh, going to implement the camera now so for that what we need to do so first of all what we will do we will go to our uh, popspec.eml so here let me just uh, go to popspec.eml here we need to add one dependency which is camera so uh, below this cupertino icons i can use camera colon and i i, I never mentioned the uh, you can see vers version number so by default it takes the latest version okay so if you want you can mention the uh, the version number otherwise you can leave it like this so this this is how we can access the camera okay so uh, we have um, got that package now what we need to do we will go to our main class which is this main dot dart here you can see that uh, we have this normal material app and uh, nothing uh, apart from that so what we will do first of all we will import our uh, the camera package okay so here we have package colon camera slash camera dot dart okay this is the first step we need to do so after that what we can do after that we can access list of cameras so we can say um so uh, you know uh, here we have this camera description and so th this class is actually let me just show you so this class is the uh, plugin implementation of, uh, of the, the it has this uh, a name of the camera then camera lens direction whether it is a front camera or it is a, a rear camera so everything of every other information is available in this class so we are going to take the list of those cameras and because why are why we are taking the list because there can be more than one camera right like in normal uh, phones you have two cameras like one is for rear and one is for uh, you you know one is for uh, front camera and nowadays like uh, huawei and other companies are providing two three four five cameras so that is why we are taking uh, this list of cameras and then what we will do uh, we need to get the available cameras so this is just a list and now we need to get the camera so uh, what i will do i will make this um, void method to a future okay we can convert it there is not an issue and for making it future we need to import this async library okay now this will give us some errors because uh, there is nothing okay so let me just do some things here okay so uh, inside this main method first thing we are doing is running the app but before running the app let's uh, do one thing uh, what what we can do we can access the camera okay so what we can write here we can say cameras is equal to await because we are using async so we can use await and here you have this available cameras method okay it will give you the camera so now we write to uh, we must have uh, must write here a sync because we are using a weight so now we have this cameras so uh, now what we can do we can pass these cameras in our whatsapp home constructor so again guys this there is one more thing uh, this is not the best practice but 
just for the simplicity i am doing this so here in the constructor i am passing this camera to whatsapp home now let's go to whatsapp home here in the constructor what we can do we can access the camera so here we i can say let's just copy the above line here okay this line or maybe just you can write where cameras okay and now here in the constructor let's say whatsapp home this dot cameras okay now again uh, our whatsapp home has some tab bars for chat for status for calls for camera and every um every tab bar have their own screen so for camera we have this camera screen so what we will do we will pass the uh, camera from here okay widget dot cameras again i am passing it for the second time but it's totally your choice you can use inherited widget for uh, doing this so that you don't have to access the uh, component again and again so it's all your choice we can you know we can change the code later or we can make it much more um, clean and much more better so we have this camera screen now let's go to the camera screen now and there we need to accept this camera so what we can do here in the camera screen first of all what we are going to do we are uh, converting it to a stateful widget <coughs> because uh, we need to access the state so here what i can do here we can have again uh, let's import the list of cameras oh sorry the camera class okay or library you can say and here we can say list of camera description cameras again it's totally your choice if you want to uh, you know access the camera after switching to this then uh, switching to this page then you can access it otherwise i am just doing it for the whenever the uh, person will start the app then only it will ask for the permission and everything so that is why i have uh, uh, get got uh, i have used this get camera available cameras method in the main method okay so now let's go back here and here in the constructor camera screen i can say cameras okay okay i need to write this dot cameras okay so we are good to go so as of now you can see we have this main we have we are passing the camera to whatsapp home then from whatsapp home we are passing this camera to our camera screen and it's it's i, I know it's not the best practice again but uh, we can change it later so we have now the camera okay so now we will go to this uh, state class here we have the uh, state object so what we will do first of all we need a controller for the camera so we can say here camera okay camera controller and just name it controller that is fine i guess so we have a controller now now let's uh, do one thing uh, we will call the init state method or basically we will override this init state method not call it so here it, this is the first method which will be called whenever this class will initialize so uh, let let me do one thing we will make the instance of this con camera controller class so and pass this instance to this controller variable so we can say a new camera controller now it will take few uh, parameters first one is the you can see the description camera description and another one is the resolution so camera description is basically which camera you want to access okay so we have a list of cameras and we want to access let's say the rear camera only for the first time and we can you know uh, we can again change it in later like if we want to access the uh, front camera then oh, we will change the code in future okay and we want a resolution so we can say resolution preset what will be it, it can be high low or medium so let's make it medium or you can change it to high also it's totally your choice okay now we have a controller now we need to initialize this controller okay so we can say controller dot initialize and after that when the initialization will be done then we can say dot then here we can say let's say one thing what we want to do okay so we will check if we if our state object is still in the tree or not okay that may be possible that our state object is not in the tree so how we will check that so we will check that by uh, calling this mounted 
a variable okay so if it is not mounted which means that if it is false then our uh, state object is not in the tree so we can totally return it otherwise we can set state or we can say that now you can rebuild our widget okay that means our state object is still in the tree okay so after initialization what we can do we can call this or we can override this dispose method and here in the dispose what we can say we can now check if controller is not null then we can uh, we can dispose it okay so this is what we need to do okay so let me just do one thing okay so now we are back to this uh, uh, this build method here we need to make the UI for the app so let's make it very simple for the first time we can update it in future videos so don't, you don't have to worry I don't want to make it a more complicated so that is why I'm uh, making it uh, as easy as I can so here first of all we will check so if controller okay dot value dot initialized okay we will check if controllers value is initialized or not so if it is not then we can uh, use this exclamation on the uh, beginning so if it is not then we won't show any anything or any camera screen so we can just uh, return a new container okay but if it is initialized so what we can do we can return new now I am using one widget which is aspect ratio widget so that uh, we want to uh, give it a proper aspect ratio so uh, we can access this as aspect ratio from our uh, controller okay so here this aspect ratio widget is what it do it checks for your phone whatever phone you are using and uh, from there you can assign it the access with, uh, aspect ratio so we will ask the controller dot value dot aspect ratio so it will give us the aspect ratio okay now after that what we can do we can uh, it has also some properties like uh, child so here we have one more widget which comes with our library which is camera preview widget okay so we can say camera preview and we can pass the controller here in the camera preview so that's what we need to do okay so uh, let me just close this and now let's bring the emulator back that's the only code you have to write you don't have to write anything else and uh, I guess I was able to explain you but uh, if I was not then also it's not a problem you can ask me in comments okay so this is our emulator let's run this application and it will not work I will tell you why so let's also see the uh, debug console so that we would be aware so it it should not work because uh, currently our minimum SDK version is 16 and this camera library does not support that it requires at least 21 minimum SDK version okay so what we how we can do it so we will go to our Android file here then we will go to our app folder this is not Android directory sorry not file so and in Android directory we have this app directory as well and here we have this build.gradle here you can see the minimum SDK version is 16 let's change it to 21 okay now it is done and now let's do one thing more uh, we can change it for iOS as well we need to uh, define some permission for iOS but let's uh, let's leave it for Android only so let's run this application again and I'll update the code to github also you can check the uh, link in the description and uh, apart from that guys one more thing is that um, I am thinking of making a different channel for flutter tutorials in Hindi if you want then you can comment plus one or if I am not making channel then I can make a playlist on that but it totally depends how much requirement is there in the market so uh, you, you if you if you will tell me that if you want this then I can make this so you have to comment plus one in the comment section plus one or and space Hindi then I will make a playlist for flutter tutorials in Hindi okay so here we can see status calls everything is fine chats and let's go to camera and when I was going to camera it asked for the permission allow flutter whatsapp to take pictures and record audio so we can say allow and now oh it gave me an error okay a camera controller was used after being disposed okay 
so what happened actually let's do it again and now you can see because I am using emulator so that is why it is giving me this screen so let's uh, what what we can do here we can uh, use the real uh, you can say real phone app so what I will do I will run it into my uh, oneplus device so let me just run it and then we can capture its screen as well so what I can do I can go to this software which is this uh, uh, air droid and it can help me in casting this screen so let me just see if that works till the time I am just uh, uh, pushing this APK into my uh, phone so let's wait for it a little bit and then maybe I I would be able to show you so uh, let's just wait for a few seconds I, I don't I don't think that it is working let me just refresh it once okay okay it is taking some time guys okay here it worked and let me just capture the screenshot I I hope it works let's just switch for it working and I have the app in front of me now and you can see here let me just uh, little bit zoom it so we have this screen now and uh, as I can show you I have this uh, chats and the status the calls what happened actually okay okay and now let's go to our camera it will ask for permission and let me allow it and now you can see we have this camera okay it is not exactly the whatsapp UI but what we can do we can change it later okay so <clears throat> that's it guys so this is the camera thing and that's it I guess from this video and uh, one more thing is guys that uh, we have this flutter example apps I have updated the screenshots I have I am updating everything your apps are coming my first target is 150 apps by this year so please start this repo and you can also watch it if you want to know about the changes via email so you can do that and a lot of other tutorials are coming um, which which can be uh, you know time consuming because I am working on uh, s uh, some real world application so that's what I will do and uh, that's it guys thank you so much for joining me and I'll see you in the next video bye bye take care